This is Insta360's brand new tiny camera, Go 3. And this is Action Pod that lets you wirelessly control and monitor your Go 3. But also, you can mount it like this and using the flip out screen, use it like that. Here it is, Insta360 GO 3 comes in this box. Inside the box we're greeted with GO 3. And GO 3 comes in three internal storage options. 32GB which is $379.99, 64GB $399.99, and 128GB which is $429.99. Go 3 is bigger than Go 2, but if you have filters for Go 2, they will fit Go 3. It has two microphones and a speaker. And the body, just like the previous version, is a button where you can program to click it once to do one thing or twice to do something else. Go 3 is magnetic, but it also has this mounting option that we'll talk about later. Next, we're greeted with a user guide a USB-A to USB-C cable, some papers, stickers, a new pendant angle adjustment piece, a sticky mount base, a new magnetic mount, a hat mount with sticky bottom if you need it, the famous magnetic pendant with a new trick up its sleeve where you can wrap the rope around it, and the action pod where you can mount Go 3 and use it like a regular action camera. ActionPod has 2.2 inch flip out screen and it supports touch. When you take out Go 3 from ActionPod, ActionPod turns into a remote monitor where you can see what you're filming. This gives you the freedom to avoid waiting for your phone to connect. Besides the obvious design differences, Go 3 can record up to 2.7K 30 frames per second and Go 2 can record up to 1440p. Go 3 has Two microphones, one here, the other one's here, and then a speaker here, where GoTo has only one microphone. The action pod has the power button, quick menu button, where you can switch between modes. We have photo, we have video, we have um, free frame, we have time lapse, we have time shift, slow motion, loop recording, Star Labs, Interval, HDR Photo, and Back to Photo, which you can change using the quick switch button over here as well. Or you can use the touch screen to switch between modes. Also on this side, we have the USB-C port, which works with USB-C to USB-C. If you wanna charge this device, you don't need to USB-A to USB-C anymore, which is fantastic. And if you wanna take out Go 3, there's this little button, you hold that down and that's how it comes out. So without the button, this is mounted here and it's not coming off at all. When it comes to battery life, Go 3 records up to 45 minutes and Go 2 records up to 30 minutes in 1080p 30 frames per second. And if you use their cases with Action Pod, Go 3 records up to 170 minutes and Go 2 records up to 150 minutes according to Insta360. Go 3 is waterproof up to 5 meters and Go 2 is waterproof up to 4 meters. And also the case of Go 2 is not waterproof but the case of Go 3 is water resistant, IPX4 water resistant. I've been using Go 3 for a while. I took it to the Father's Day show that happens on Rodeo Drive. And it was a lot of fun to bring such tiny camera there. I mounted this at the end of a selfie stick. 
and then I start recording with it. I shot some shots in the, the free frame mode and some shots in the regular video mode. And the difference between the regular video mode and free frame mode. So if you want to shoot something and then post immediately, you can shoot in video mode if you don't want to deal with anything afterwards. And on top of that, you can go here and change the amount of stabilization you like to be added to the footage. It's super easy and simple, but with free frame, you can shoot freely and then you can bring that into Insta's editing software. You can decide on the aspect ratio. You can decide on the stabilization and you can decide on the horizon leveling. So for shots where you start from the bottom and you're going up towards the cars, I would prefer free frame shooting because then I can level the horizon and make the look, uh, footage look better. With regular video mode, you can shoot up to 2.7K, 30 frames per second. But in free frame mode, you can only shoot up to 14, 40, 50 frames per second, which is what I like to prefer because then you can slow down the 50 frames per second and get a little bit of slow motion footage out of this camera and because it's so light and small you can mount it on your head you can mount it on your chest and then start filming like this hands-free recording with their new pendant i feel like this is going to be something i'll be wearing as a chest cam and if you want to wear it like a chest cam there's a loop mode and in the loop mode you can select the length of the footage you want it to record so you're not going to run out of space let's say you want 30 minutes of footage being recorded constantly and if something happens you can save that footage i think in the future we're going to be really curious how we lived and walked around carelessly without a chest camera i didn't sit down and record it with this device non-stop so i'm not fully sure about the battery life or the overheating in my usage i didn't come across any overheating and the battery life on this was actually great let's turn on the voice commands take a photo start recording And if you see something that you like, that you want to remember and find it easily later on, you can say, mark that and we'll drop a pin to that point. So when you're editing in the editing uh, software, you're going to see where that point is and it's going to be easier to edit. And once you're done, you can say, stop recording. And then shut down camera. If you have GoTo's ND filters and other other filters, those filters fit Go3. By the way, Go3 records in Rec 709, which is great. And as I mentioned before, the USB-C works with USB-C to USB-C cables, which are all upgrades I'm really happy to see at the Insta360 Go series cameras. And there's something else I like to show you, which I really enjoy a lot. Let's say I start recording and I'm happy with the framing and everything. I mount this here and I looked at the footage. Everything is fine. I'm happy with it. What I can do is I can hold down the power button and decide on what I want to turn off, which is a great feature i just want to turn off the action pod so this can keep on recording and i save the battery in this nicely done using action pod for monitoring especially wirelessly was a lot of fun when i mounted go3 on the car or on my chest or on my hat it was it was fun to see what's going on what's in frame is it still recording it makes a big difference compared to go2 for this video, I want to travel and do something crazy like go to Carolina Island and try a zip line or something. So I decided to go even crazier. So I went to Malibu and had fish. I ate some fish, which was super delicious. So that was the extreme thing I did. I had to travel for hours. And I had to wait in line for hours because that 
place is <laughs> really crowded and I use this camera with the chest mount and I used it on my hat and used it every way possible and it was a breeze I had no hiccups at all it was easy to use the fact that it is so small and light it doesn't draw much attention to it although um, I would prefer this in black but uh, you can customize these so I may customize it to make it darker Then come I'll take it in a second. Couple of things I like to mention. While you're recording, you do not see what frame rate or settings you're recording in, and there's nothing you can do to uh, see that on the touch screen. And we also have a quick capture mode and the button settings for Go 3. So what you can do is you can select a single press and a double press. You can even have your custom settings there. So when you click it once, your custom settings engage and you start recording or taking a photo with that. And when you double press it, you can have something else programmed to it. But quick capture and the Go 3 buttons can be confusing quick capture is when the device is turned off and you click it once and it turns on by itself by itself and starts recording or you click it twice it starts recording in the other setting so that can be confusing keep that in mind if you don't want it to record immediately turn off quick capture well thank you very much for watching this episode and i hope you enjoyed it and i had a great time shooting with this camera uh, thank you so much Insta360 for sponsoring this showcase video where I tell you about Insta's brand new camera Go 3. Well, until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoşçakalın. on the other side. Yeah, I actually did not have the intel college. Oh, which is weird because we took a lot of the you know, actually we didn't have much control. Uh, but, uh, mm. different. Just the yeah, yeah. Almost, almost. It's not a huge surgery, but it's a big enough. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. My brother. Karen's like, I'm too. Don't worry. It's being recorded. It's being recorded.